Welcome back to President Trump News Channel. Please subscribe and check notification bell. Thanks for being with us. Breaking news tonight, Minneapolis mayor is booed out of a rally for rejecting calls to deafen the police. Protesters from Minneapolis drove Mayor Jacob Free out of a rally Saturday, chanting shame, shame, after he rejected calls to deafen the police. It was a striking moment that illustrated just how much the national conversation has changed in the nearly two weeks of protests over the death of George Floyd, who was killed on May 25 by a Minneapolis officer who knelt on his neck. What was once a niche radical argument deafened the police has become a rallying call for protesters who want drastic changes that will dismantle a system they see as racist and ineffective. While most Americans don't support cutting police budgets, according to a Yahoo YouGov poll conducted during the early days of the protests, officials are now being forced to at least contend with these arguments. That includes Free, who had campaigned on a platform of police reform before he was elected in 2017. He was confronted with the question during a rally he visited on Saturday. When a woman on stage gave him a microphone to answer whether or not he deafened the Minneapolis Police Department, he answered, I do not support the full abolition of the police. Following his response, protesters booed the mayor and chanted go home, Jacob, go home, and shame, shame. Later, in an interview with the New York Times, Free City still supported a deep structural reform of a racist system, such as prohibiting the police union from collective bargaining. It's a move that, according to one study, could reduce violent police misconduct, but is far from what activists are seeking. Some of the activists' demands have been met. Following Floyd's death, the University of Minnesota, Minneapolis Public Schools and the Minneapolis Park and Recreation Board terminated their relationships with the police department. For Minneapolis activists supporting the abolishment of the police, however, this isn't enough. MPD 150, a community organization in Minneapolis, wrote on its website that police departments need to be abolished because the system is inherently flawed. It's not just that police are ineffective. In many communities, they're actively harmful. The history of policing is a history of violence against the marginalized. The transition would be gradual, according to MPD 150. Resources and funding will need to be strategically moved from the police to community-based models of safety. A world without police would look like safety that is controlled and is led by our community, that focuses on transformation and transformative justice Candace Montgomery, director of Black Visions Collective and founder of the Minneapolis chapter of Black Lives Matter, told The Intercept. A world without police means that everybody has what they need to survive and what they need to live healthy lives. It means we have the money that we need for education, healthcare, housing, workers' rights. The Minneapolis City Council has been one of the most responsive to protesters across the nation. Mayor Jacob Free may not support defending the police, but the movement isn't entirely rejected by city officials. Activists have at least four out of 13 Minneapolis City Council members on their side. Council member Jeremiah Ellison who has been an outspoken critic of the police's response to the protests, according to the Star Tribune first tweeted on Thursday, we are going to dismantle the Minneapolis Police Department. 
And when we're done, we're not simply gonna glue it back together. We are going to dramatically rethink how we approach public safety and emergency response. Other members, including City Council President Lisa Bender, joined Ellison's call for defending the police shortly after.